Hey guys, Rob Baldwin here, IMX Productions 10 Minute Design. Welcome to a brand new tutorial. What we're doing today is we're gonna do a t-shirt design, yes, another t-shirt tutorial, directly in Photoshop. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stay in Photoshop. We're not going to Illustrator. Now I know a lot of my previous tutorials, we brought it to Illustrator, converted it to vector so it could be silk screened onto a shirt. Um, this time, we're gonna stay in Illustrator. The reason why I'm doing that is because uh, a lot of the online uh, t-shirt services nowadays, Teespring, Gearbubble, T-Chip, are accepting raster images. Um, the transfer methods are a lot better than they used to be. That gives us an edge because now we can design really intricate designs, full color, raster. We don't need to go to vector. We can stay in Photoshop and make it look really cool. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're doing another cat shirt. Got a nice cat photo here. Love the black background. We're gonna use that because we're gonna make it on a black t-shirt. So the first thing I wanna do, um, I wanna make this look like it's a bit more sketched. I don't want necessarily a photograph on my shirt. So come up here to Filter Gallery. We're gonna choose Cutout, I'm already selected. And see how it makes it look like it's you know a bit more painted, not quite as much of a photograph. Now you can play with these levels. Obviously that's horrible, but you can make it as uh, simplistic or as complex as you want. I like it about here. And click OK, love that. Now I'm gonna, Quick Curves is just going to brighten up the photo just like that okay and then we're going to copy that and I've got my canvas here for my t-shirt hit paste make it a little larger and obviously here if I remove the background we've still got that black so what we want to do is hit the magic wand select the black background hit delete and we're left with just that image okay so the next thing we're gonna do is add some text using two simple fonts, got a nice kind of grungy font, and right over the design, cats are my favorite people. What I did from here is using a simple layer style, so hit blending options, come up here to layer style, and color overlay. I'm just choosing, choosing colors from my design for the color of my text. Okay, next thing I wanna do from here, new layer right behind the uh, text. I'm gonna go grab myself a nice, um, nice grungy kind of ink blotch. I love putting these in t-shirt designs, it just adds a nice kind of grunge element to the back. So just get yourself a nice uh, ink brush and then just click in the background like that. Obviously this is much too light. So again, hit layer styles, color overlay, and we're gonna grab one of these background colors. We can even go darker. So we really don't want it too prominent. Okay, now transform and we're just moving around. Hit Alt and drag to create a second um, instance of that design. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is grab all my ink um, elements and draw, drop them into a group. So they're in a folder. Oops, I don't want the cat head in there. We'll just take that cat head out of there. There we go. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, see, I wanna create a bit of an outline around my text from the background ink blotches. So what we're gonna do is go to our group that has all our text in it. I'm gonna duplicate it. Okay, I'm then going to hit Command E, and that's gonna collapse, Command or Control E, that's gonna collapse our the group into one layer. I then want to hold Command and Control and click that layer. That's going to select the layer. Don't need it anymore. And I want to come down to my group right here. Make sure you have selection selected up here. And with my arrow keys, I'm just going to move the selection off a little bit. See how I'm just a little off? Now what I want to do is down to the layer here, I'm going to hit the mask. And that created a mask with my selection. However, I want to invert that mask. So Command and Control I is going to invert it. Now you see what we've done here? Zoom in a little bit. We've created a nice outline. Next thing we want to do is uh, fix up the the cat because the cat is, you know, those ink blotches are kind of surrounding the cat. I don't like that. So with the same same um, mask selected, we're just going to grab a brush, make it a nice simple uh, large round brush, opacity 100, and we're simply with black selected going to just. Okay, now the time. Now we just want to get creative. Okay, so now um, 
the shirt looks great as is. I can add more stuff to it. I can make it a little more dynamic, add more ink blotches, add more designs. Um, all the main elements are there. We've got, we've got the cat, we've got the text, we've got the kind of ink blotches. If you want to get more creative and add more stuff, um, that's up to you. One technique I like to do on some shirts is you basically, let's go up here to, let's go to Google and we'll type in cat. We'll just go cat Wikipedia. And one thing you can do is grab it just to, you know, one little, t a little, uh, one little line of text. Okay, so the first text here, it's about cats, so you may as well go with something about cats. Uh, copy that, come back to Photoshop, get a text box, and we're gonna paste it in there. So, we've got a nice line of text about cats. We're gonna turn this sideways like that, and then we can just place it right there. Okay, make sure it's behind pretty much everything. Blending option as well, we're gonna give this one a color. Um, I don't know what color. There we go. That's a nice color. And same idea, we're gonna add a mask to it, and we're just gonna block out. Okay, so I'm happy with this design as is. Um, now the idea here, the idea, pretty much the whole idea of this tutorial is that we can create shirt that we can upload to Teespring or Gearbubble or T-Chip directly from um, Photoshop. We don't have to go to Illustrator, we don't have to go anywhere else. So, as you can see, everything here in my design, if I click off the background layer, okay, so with everything selected, we're gonna come up here to, to Layer and Merge Layers. That's gonna merge everything into one simple layer here. We're then gonna come up here, File, Save As, and you want to save it as a PNG. So come out here and choose PNG and call it cat shirt, whatever you want. Hit save. Now the reason we save as a PNG, if you've watched one of my videos on um, for, on uh, file formats, very important, okay? PNG is a raster format, however, it supports transparency. Very important for uploading to any of these t-shirt websites because you don't want that black or white background. You want it, the transparency, obviously you want the background to be the t-shirt. So this saves just the image, no background. Let's throw this into one of my um, templates here. So we got this girl here is wearing a shirt. We're gonna open up our template file. We're gonna throw this in the background right here. I like that. Hit save. Go back and boom. There is our design in the background of this template. Okay, so hope you guys enjoyed that. Okay, quick tutorial. Um, if you wanna know how to make one of these templates at the very end that I show you there, uh, I do have a video for that, so click that video. I do have a video for that, so click the video and I will show you exactly how to create a template um, to load your designs onto a shirt, on a model, and it's gonna be perfect every single time. Okay, hope. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you later. Cheers.